Okay, so here's a quick video on how to make a head similar to this one in T-splines. So what we want to do is start out uh, with just laying out kind of a reference curve. I'm going to use the arc tool, um, arc direction here, and I'm just going to lay it out. You can have a reference gem out here or, or you know, if you're, if you're working on a particular size, definitely do that. I'm just going to put a curve out here. So using the arc tool, I'll just kind of approximate. This is this is kind of the center line of one of my prongs, uh, if that makes sense. So this will be the base of the head and then the tip of the prong. The next thing I want to do is go to my T-splines menu. And in the first page, we have uh, our HUD. We want to, make, want to make sure that's turned on. Mine's already turned on here. But we want to turn that on and then go down to the second page and we'll grab the TS pipe tool. And it says select the curves, so we'll select our curve here and we'll right click or press enter. And we have a couple different options we can change. We can change the uh, the number of segments, which in this example it looks like this worked out for us. Um, uh, one, two, three, four, six total segments. So this is actually four segments and two end caps. And then we have a radius of one. Here in the command line, we can see the radius. We can uh, change that as well if we need it to be bigger or smaller. Uh, you can definitely do that. But for this example, this seemed to this seemed to work out. So I'm just going to right click and pass that command, and there's our pipe. Now I'm in kind of the box mode right now. We want to go over here to our HUD and do the box smooth toggle, and that'll smooth it out into to a nice smooth T-splines object. So for the uh, the four prong head, there's a couple things we can do. Uh, I'm going to start by rotating this towards the top, yeah. just to keep things easier to to see here. Um, so let me go ahead and get this one shaded as well. So what we're going to do is draw some curves now. So for the four prong head, and, and this is the part that's going to differ depending on how many prongs you want. For the four prong head, we know we want, uh, of course, four prongs, so we're going to draw just two curves out here at 45 degree angles. Now that angle is going to is going to change depending on the, the number of prongs you have. Obvious, obviously, if you have uh, six prongs, it'll be like 30 degrees and, and so forth. So, uh, So we're going to take a curve. I'll just draw it straight up here. Let's put that on a different layer and I'll rotate it 45 degrees. I'm just typing 45 in the command line and there it is. Now I can also mirror that to the other side and what this is, this is going to be reference curves for our symmetry planes later when we uh, what we're going to do is a radial symmetry and we have to make sure that certain points along this T-splines object are lined up to these curves and, and we'll see how to do all that. So the next thing we need to decide is how far up the split is going to be for, uh, or I guess how far down our split's going to be for the prongs. So we need to determine where the the head is going to be one solid piece versus where the prongs kind of protrude out. And I think for this one we'll go with uh, we'll go with maybe the first just the first two. So right here along this line is where the the prong will start and these two faces will be the part that, that's fused together from one prong to the next. So I'm going to go to face selection and I'll select these two faces on either side and we may want to go with the first three. Let's do that. Let's go up to the third one here. I think that'll look a little better. So we'll delete those faces and we, our object should look something like this. So we just deleted uh, both the sets of faces um, on either side there that are going to be the parts that are joined to the the copies next to them. All right, so next step is to set what we need to do is rotate, if you will, rotate these edges right here to line up with our line and that may seem like a like a daunting task, but it's um it's not not that bad. And we're going to use these lines to our favor here. So we're going to take the entire object. We'll go to object select mode. We'll take the entire object and our curves, 
and we'll rotate them from F4 and we'll make one of these lines, doesn't matter which one, face straight up. So now our prong is rotated at the 45 degree angle. And what we can do is select these edges and if we switch to point mode or vertice mode here you can see the the vertices that go along with the edges we had selected um, are already selected for us so that's kind of a shortcut instead of having to click on each one of these points with these points selected we'll go back to our t-splines menu and we'll go to the set point command and this is asking us which axis we want to set the points on for this side we want to set set them along the x-axis only so we'll make sure the y and z are deselected and we'll select the x-axis we'll push OK now it's asking us for a point along the x-axis to set these points and we'll just I'm just gonna press F4 and that should set all those points along that line now for the four prong head it's a little easier than the other ones because we already have this curve set along another axis if you're doing a six prong or an eight prong head it gets a little um, it gets a little trickier and you have to kind of rotate this around to the other side and, and repeat the process but for this we have a little bit of a shortcut so we're gonna go ahead and select these points and we're gonna run set points again and this time we want to set them along the y-axis and we'll press F4 and now you can see that we have our points lined up with our axes and what that's going to do for us is when we run radial symmetry it's going to ensure that these edges line up with the section next next to it seamlessly and everything should blend together nicely um, so with that done we'll go up here to our HUD and we'll click on the symmetry icon and in the command line we want to do add radial and then uh, segments we want four center of rotation would be F4 and we'll just select along this edge and we'll rotate back up to this edge and everything should join together nicely and it does and of course you can play with the shape and get that worked out now the good thing about radial symmetry is as we adjust one prong of course, all the other prongs update with it. So, so that's that. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that'll get you going.